Today, we traveled north down the Garden State Parkway and landed in Morganville, New Jersey, where we made a visit to a historic property in central New Jersey that has now been transformed into the Pepperdew Fresh Farms, where they grow these, the Pepperdew. Wait a second, what the heck is a Pepperdew? Well, I guess, America, we're going to find out together on this episode of Jersey Chef. Hi, I'm Chef Timothy Witcher, and today we have Pepperdew Fresh Farms. Um, I'm very excited about this because honestly, I don't know much about the Pepperdew. But luckily, I'm here with Pierre Crawley. How are you? The operator of this wonderful farm. Oh, and he's going to train me and you guys on how the Pepperdew is grown and harvested and where it came from, some of the history. So tell us about the Pepperdew. What, what is a Pepperdew? It's actually a, a fruit. It's in the pepper family. Um, it's what's called a capsicum begatum, uh, which is the red version. There's also a capsicum anum, which is the pepperdew gold, what we call pepperdew gold. Uh, the red one is a little bit uh, 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 similar to a habanero, which is very hot off the bush. So you wow. have um, uh, in its final uh, flavor something that's sweet, tangy, with a little bit of a pepper bite. The pepperdew was discovered actually in South Africa about 16 years ago. Wow, so it's a, the it's a Pepperdew very, very Fresh new, uh, Vineyard and Winery is a perfect blend of the old and new. This 1800s farmhouse and barn now houses one of the newest produce products, the Pepperdew. All right, so here, this is my this is my first bite of a Pepperdew. Wow, that, that, that's unique. More sweet. Now, when you add that that sugar vinegar brine yeah, to it, that's, to that's it. what's gonna infuse into that pepper and give you that tangy uh, apricot mango type thing. Yeah, but this is wonderful. I'm thinking some things I can do with this right now. Yeah, it's nice. I can't wait to take these, some of these back to the kitchen. Right, so this is how they grow over here. Right. Like a, like a normal pepper. Okay. Then it starts to turn what we call chocolate. Wow, oh, look at that. Gets almost black and then turns gold. So it goes to the green form, then it gets this color. Yeah. And then it turns back to this, this beautiful gold color. Yeah, strange. Wow. And the red one does the same. The red one does the same. I'm gonna go pick my first pepper dough. Uh, Chef, I'm gonna save this one for you. I see one right here, let's call my name. There you go, pick some good ones. Yeah, I'm gonna save this guy for me. Cool. And it's actually a patent on the pepper deer, so anybody can't grow their own pepper deer patch. Um, you have to come here right to New Jersey to get these best fresh golden pepper deer here. Exactly. See, this is this is Jersey fresh at its best. So I'm back from a wonderful afternoon, and I got a chance to pick the fresh yellow pepper deer. Um, there's no chef really that gets a chance to get these raw. I got them. It's a special event. I got a special chef coming here to the BCIT kitchens. And that's BCIT's own top chef, Kevin Sprager. So, I picked this one to fill just for Kevin Sprager. Let's go see what he can do with it. Uh, chef Kevin, my man, Chef Kevin Sprager. Not only a wonderful chef, not only a BCIT graduate, but my best friend and good brother. Um, give it a taste. Sweet, touching heat. Nice flavor. Chef, what can we do with that? We gotta make some magic happen with these pepper dips. I mean, there's a lot, there's so much sweetness that this could be almost in a dessert. Uh, I don't know if you can take it there. I, I, I think we could. You can take it there? I think we could add, add a sweet preparation to this without a doubt. Oh, I yeah. can add this to a cocktail too if I wanted. What are we waiting for? Let's go into the BCIT kitchen and see what we can do. So what I did was, I took the red pepper dudes, we pureed them up. Today we're making a Thai-style red curry using the spicy red pickled pepper dews as the base. Some beautiful sea scallops and stir-fried fresh yellow pepper dews, fresh picked from the farm. I'm gonna season them like a little salt and pepper. Chinese spot spice powder. And we're gonna get a good pan on that. Look at that, see the color? The colonization getting on the sea scallops. That's what I want. I want a nice color on them, a nice sear. When the scallops are seared, it's almost like 
like shellfish candy at the bottom. It looks like caramel forms at the bottom of there. All right, so I've got those stirred up. Let's give them a flip. Let those go for another about 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna start building the dish up where that love comes in at. One more touch of sesame olive oil blend. Work around. I'm gonna add some fresh grated ginger. So the ginger's gonna go in, it's gonna release some of those oils and that flavor and love in there. So we're gonna get that little. Then some more chopped garlic. Uh, some of our yellow pepper dudes. Remember, I'm only chef that got fresh pepper dudes. I'm gonna throw that in there. Now we're gonna start building our curry. We're we'll gonna take some of our puree pickle pepper dudes. Get that one in the pan. Now along with that, we're gonna add some fresh chopped lemongrass. Lemon that is really floral, has a nice fragrance, nice taste of that. We're gonna add some julienne onions. What we're doing in a wok, we're building the levels of flavor in there. We come look into our wok right here. See how that sauce is simmering? The flavors in this pepper duke curry are amazing. With the spice and brine from the pickled ones, and the slight heat and freshness from the yellow ones, mixed with the sweetness of those sea scallops, and the richness from that coconut milk, it's like a umami roller coaster. And you almost hear the sound changing as it starts to crack. Hear the change? Are you gonna see some of that juice start to come out of there? And we got some so fasten in those water. taste buds, because nice we're about to turn up. I'm gonna add our coconut water into the pan, along with our chicken stock. We add a little bit more of our pureed pickle pepper. Do you smell that? Can you smell that love coming up off that pan? I'm gonna have a few of the Thai basil in. I'm gonna add some fresh cilantro and add that in. Beautiful, the donkey mushroom. We're going to go now some coconut milk. All right, so we're going to let that simmer up. And a good handful of scallions. And beef sprouts. We're going to get another taste. Flavor is going to be amazing. All right, now we're going to plate our scallop curry up. All right. Chef Kevin Spraga was the season 7 winner of Top Chef DC and owner of Spraga Restaurant on Broad and Pine in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But I've known him since he's been 14 and we've been cooking for over 17 years in the BCIT kitchens. So we came back home to show some love. Alright, so we got our scallops in. One more in here hiding. You find them. There he is. We'll get a little bit of this eggplant. The top chef and the Jersey chef in the same kitchen, this is going to be flavor overload. Good, I mean, that, that's prices. I'm chef says good, he's still eating. I'm, 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 a, I'm a happy mess. So, chef, what do you think? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.